What the? Uh, and who became the ghost? <laughs> there we go. Okay, a uh, bit of context there. Uh, Drakir thought he saw a ghost on the game stream, which was the cursor just in the other in the corner here. Uh, you you can see like a few pixels of it, and he thought it was a ghost. <laughs> I, I, I saw first a movement, and the reason it was an arrow, I thought, wait, is there a remote? It was a ghost? The only reason it was a, a bit white. Anyway, so welcome, ev uh, welcome, uh, <laughs> too amused. Welcome, ev uh, welcome aboard, everyone. Uh, I'll be your Captain Rian today, along with... PSM First Mr. Kio at your service. And welcome to our 80th Showcase Sun... Showcase Sunday. I almost said Sunday, but we are not shaming the we are not shunning these games. We are showcasing them. 
And yeah, what we do in the... I just realized I freaking mistyped Sunday up here. So uh, let me just correct that. It said what? Sunsay. <laughs> How did I mistype that? Okay, I'm leaving that in the title. Uh, anyways, what we do with this is that we take four to maximum seven games, depending on if we go short with any. And we, uh, yeah, we showcase them for about half an hour each. And the first one today is The Dark Side Detective, which, well, is a pixel game. Oh, so... damn me. Hey, what the? Okay. Uh, my GPU spiked to 100% for some reason. Okay. Anyways. Uh, let's get started and... S Oop, let's see. Uh, Twin Lakes Police System Volume 13. Uh, Malice in Wonderland. Case summary. The chief has sent me to the Jones residence. Dooley is there with further details. Okay, let's start the investigation and start the timer. Why did the... Did that jump? Have I ever heard name pun before? Thanks. Officer Dooley? Whoa, I almost shot you there, Detective. You shouldn't be sneaking around like that. Dooley, you watched me drive up. I had my siren on. You waved at me as I pulled in. I guess this place has me spooked out a little. So what happened here? Chief Sully just called me up and told me to get here ASAP. No details. Seven-year-old kid Alice went missing a day ago. Nice sign of, no sign of her leaving the house. Seems to be the kind of a spooky crap map. I mean, the kind of case you're into, detective. Great. Let's get started. Okay. I, I know a little about... Oh, I know absolutely nothing about this one other than it resembles uh, the old point and clicks of the olden days. So, well, let's point and click. A trusty squad car. I'd like to call it the Popo Motor. What? What? After you, Detective, what? you know whenever you're standing in this rain starts being fun for you. Anything else here? We have a little... Okay, we have the menu. Nice that it's a notebook, since we are a detective at all. That, that, yo... Why does that feel like a reference? Roy Jones. Officer Dooley, why is there a, a hobo dripping all over my carpet? Uh, that's Detective Francis McQueen, Mr. Jones. He's here to investigate. I see. Twin Lakes Finest, eh? Uh, so how can I help you, Detective? Uh, tell me about Alice. I'll level you with you, Detective. I don't have many dealings with her. She has a limited conversation pool. She's seven. Exactly. A tedious age. So I'll leave that to the nanny. She's around here somewhere. Okay, that explains why you're sipping wine whilst your daughter is missing. Uh, where were you last night? Why didn't you notice she was missing? I was... out. How wonderfully shady. <laughs> Have you got an alibi? Where I was is none of your business, detective. My taxes pay your salary. They also pay for the cell and questioning room I'm going to have Dooley here take you to. Fine, call this number. They'll vouch for me. Busty Bells Booty Boutique. <laughs> Classy stuff. Ah, oh, Bells. Fond memories. I mean, where uh, where was he? A bell shop? What? <laughs> oh, we got some matches. Oh, oh, number on the back of the matches. Yeah, okay. I had to say this. Hmm? Kudos to him to actually f be one of you that could counter that argument. Uh, yeah, that they can uh, they can provide a good alibi. It might well save him from getting arrested for well something criminal with his daughter, perhaps. But it probably won't save his marriage. Yeah. I hope you don't smoke around your kid. Thankfully, detective, I'm rarely around my kid. You are just a plain old asshole, aren't you? Nice schooner. <laughs> you dummy. That's not a schooner. It's a sailboat. A schooner is a sailboat, Dooley. Let's see, anything more for you? Whoa, these folks must be millionaires. Let's see, we have the hallway and upstairs. Grant for the clock. 
Everything. I would I would like owning these you know, one of these things if I had the space for them. Even if it wouldn't work, it would just be well fun to have. Well, this reminds me of my own grandfather. Hmm. I'm not sure if I would for sure. At times that sound is soothing. But that also can become terrifying. Yeah, I, I I've had a I've had a clock in my room for a long time, and the ticking would drive me absolutely insane while trying to sleep. Yeah, <laughs> Your grandfather was a clock? What? No, he had a clock. Shame, I thought I'd finally found out something interesting about you. But I'm interesting. Whatever you say, detective. <laughs> one of those crystals is worth more than we could pay in a year. We could take one. You, uh... You passed the corruption test. Well done, detective. <laughs> Closets. <laughs> Box of junk. Hmm, a black light bulb. Might as well take it. Now all we need is a disco ball, some white clothes, <laughs> and fat beads. Then we got ourselves a good night. A good night is finding this kid. Why? Why is there a black light bulb here? Yeah. <laughs> Did you follow me into this closet? You may have needed backup. Okay, let's get these two out of the closet. Locked. I wonder where I'd find a key. Okay. Nothing else here. How far this game is interesting and a random idea. Oh. If these two, if these two are hanging through out the game, detective and another officer. Yeah, you voice them? You be the detective and I'll be the police. <laughs> okay, you can be the derpy side kid. Side yeah. kick. Kick. Why do I always <laughs> automate that to side kid? Uh, let's see. Daughter's bedroom. Oop. Mrs. Jones. My baby, my baby is gone. Right. She just disappeared. Anything you have? Okay, no, not getting anything out of her. Teddy? Right. But, hmm? I didn't realize. How tall is she? Tell me where she is, bear. I'm only kidding. You don't know. You're only a bear. A stupid, no, nothing bear. Let's see. A drawing of our. No. <laughs> really? I put out an APP. Uh. I think you'd have more. You know, your, I think you'd have more results looking for a purple guy. No, Dooley, don't do that. Hey, I know that tree. It owes me five bucks. With, I can't tell if he's serious or not. I've never seen a horse with five legs before. There's no time for our detective. Black light. This you know, looks useful. A black light marker. Okay, what's that doing in the kids' room? I don't have much use for a dozen pink socks. Let's see. Place this fancy to serve something nicer than plastic flowers. Okay, so they are... Hmm. The richness can be a bit of a facade. Telephone? What an odd place for a telephone. You must have run other places to draw. I mean, put it. Was that a fourth wall break? <laughs> the master bedroom? I don't believe this is the same woman we spoke to. The stress of all this has hit her hard. Uh, she seems like a sweet kid. Don't worry, we'll find a detective. And I forgot to talk to him in the previous room. Nanny, let's see. Tell me about Alice. She is spoiled and sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. Well, that's what having super rich parents will do to you, I guess. What's Nanny doing in the master bedroom? Nothing suspicious, that's for sure. No, siree. <laughs> that is suspicious. How long have you been working for the Jones? Jones's detective. He, even though it ends with an S, you still prize it. It's not really the best time. It's always a good time for grammar. Anyway, answer the question. Long enough to harbor no ill will whatsoever. I'm going with the exact opposite. Say, so, you're the nanny. The very isn't nanny. You, you have keys for the various rooms. I'm a nanny, not a maid. Right, but do you? Yes. And Nanny McFeed. Really? 
McFiend, like an F. I have the key to the study then. Sure, there's nothing incriminating in there anyway. I made extra sure of it. A waterbed, very fancy. It looks like something has been kicked under here. No, it doesn't. Strange page. Okay. It's a peculiar pattern from the Occult for Dummies book. I'm guessing you know that because you own that. Alice and her mom look quite happy here. Seems impolite to go raffling around in someone's drawers uninvited. Okay. The nanny is beautiful. Ask her if she's single, you know, as part of the investigation. <laughs> hey, are you free to help wallpaper my sister's ho house this weekend? I can do the first floor, but I need somebody to hold the ladder while we do the second. I think she means the inside rooms. <laughs> really? Thank goodness, I was not looking forward to wallpapering that roof. What? <laughs> uh, uh, actually, before, there's an attic. Let's see, paint cans. Those look heavy enough to knock someone out cold. There's something on the wall here. Oh, it's a broken shelf. Looks like this gave way recently, spinning paint thinner all over the wall. Hmm, may not be broken after all, just a blown bulb. Okay, some boxes, a box marked. Yeah, Anne's broken dreams. Paint thinner. The paint thinner fell where the, when the shelf gave way. Not much room, you know, not much left in it now. Nope, get it. A bunch of forgotten memories. Okay, we have a black light bulb. Yeah, for black lighting things. Can we... Okay, we need to drag it open. I hope this doesn't reveal somebody's attic shame. Uh, okay, it reveals something else. <laughs> what the hell? Well, that doesn't look ominous at all. Totally not. Uh. <laughs> Perfectly normal occult summoning bullshit. Hey there, Tatum. You doing well? Oh, hey, little potato. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, welcome to our 80th stream of... Well, not really... 80th Showcase Sunday stream where we showcase some games. And this is the Dark Side Detective. And hey, Presto, we're in. Let's see. Roy Jones, Esquire. Takes a certain type of person to have an oil painting of themselves. An old oil lantern. Seems to have some oil left, too. Oh, yoink. Dog statue. The statue is ugly enough to be worth a lot of cash. A nice collection of books that does suggest they have not been looked at in some time. For shame. Magaz his magazine collection. Jeez, this guy's obsessed with jugs. <laughs> 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 okay, that was a good one. You can never trust a man who owns too many books, that's what I say. How many books are too many? Six? And how many books do you own? I don't feel comfortable with this line of questioning. <laughs> hey, I just realized that there are only two seats in the, this entire house. Don't be daft, dude. There are more. They're just off camera. Come on! Leave the fourth wall alone, you two. Uh, it has done you no harm, and it seeks you to do, it seeks to do none. Uh, Mr. Jones, there seems to be an evil doorway in your attic. Just as well you're here, then. Go arrest it. It's trespassing. I... You, you want us to arrest the wall? I'm sorry. You heard me. Arrest it. I want to press full charges. Okay, this guy is about as bright as our black light bulb. Okay. Uh, wrong way. Actually, no, they're, they're both upstairs. Let's go check out with them for a moment. Uh, not yet. Yeah, we're getting absolutely nothing out of her in this state. Can't blame her, though. Uh, you, totally not suspicious nanny. What can you tell me about the demonic doorway in the attic? Nothing. Not a thing. It's nothing to do with me, that's for sure. I was here the whole time. Right. Let's see. Um. Hmm. The pattern on the wall paint... was washed out. Yeah, the paint thinner the destroyed the, the... The paint thinner destroyed the sigils for it, so... You could... I'm guessing some, yeah, very clearly or very, 
very head her red herringly. The maid is responsible for this as some sort of revenge plot, likely. Uh, Possibly. Yeah, I'm guessing the kid got up here, went through the doorway, but then the shelf gave out and basically slammed the <laughs> yeah, slammed the door behind there, metaphorically speaking. Let's see. The panel on the wall looks looked washed out in places. I wonder what would happen if I redrew it. Do we, oh yeah, we do have black light. Oh, there we go. Okay, I seem to have everything I need. Let's get down to some spooky hijinks and redraw those missing symbols. Let's see. Oh, what? Okay, I actually need to select them. Hello, yes. Glacier Boy, and yes, I am behaving. There. Then double and two points. And this one. Okay. That should be it. Great. Maybe now is a good time to stop doing, well, anything really? I wonder if I can file for early retirement. I doubt you are five days away. And yes, he is behaving. Even I'm not foolish enough to go in there without with no lights. Oh, we, we have paint in there which can act as oil. No. Let's just light the lantern then. I should probably light this thing, you know, just in case. Okay. Okay, Dooley, let's do this. No offense, detective, but I'm going nowhere near this creep fest. Or that. I'll uh, stand guard out here. Oh, hello, Alice. Hello, mister. Hey, kiddo. Are you here to take me home? Yep. Good, I'm hungry and the sounds from downstairs are scaring me. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's see some cans. The label says old milk circa 1880. Why would you store that? Like, that would that probably be, be turned to cheese on its own. <laughs> I don't think it would turn to cheese. Don't look in there, mister. That's where the three-eyed rats hide. Box marked, baby's first call drobes. And another broken shell. This looks like the other attic, right down to the broken shell. There we are on the flip side, you could say. Except it's all blue and cold here. Not so fast, detective. Where's Dooley? That idiot? it? I knocked him out. They can't have you snooping around anymore, so I'm going to trap you here. At least take the girl. Oh, I intend to. I'm her legal guardian, after all. It's my job to look after her, especially if anything should happen to her parents. Say, for example, they're getting trapped in the dark side's version of their bedroom. It's where they'd be now if Alice hadn't gotten into my stuff and stupidly trapped herself up here. I figured it'd be best to lay low until you had gone. I thought you'd have given up by now. What kind of cop would give up on a missing kid? Most of the TLPD? Sadly, fair. So that's what this is? An inheritance scheme? You have to admit, it's, it's a fairly perfect crime. It is, actually. If you, even if you do get rid of me, then what? Alice knows what you're up to. She's a smart kid. If she's so smart, she'll know to keep her mouth shut. Once Dooley wakes, you and your scheme will be done for. Hmm, good point. I'll just have to get you to drag him in here with you. Come on. Damn it. Okay, drag your friend in there, and no funny business. Uh, paint is not funny. Have a taste of your own medicine. <laughs> bye bye. Problem solved. <laughs> Wit solver. So, the kid got into the nanny stuff and accidentally used to trap herself in that creepy attic? The dark side. But that's uh, surprisingly. Uh, uh, I can never figure out that freaking words. Succinct? That's a surprisingly well good summary of things, yes. Same nanny was certifiable. She was a looker. Julie, she was dabbling in, dark, in the dark arts. With a plan to trap innocent people in a parallel world, kidnap their kid, and steal all their cash. I said it was a shame, jeez. I wonder where the nanny got the occult books from anyway. That stuff is hard to find these days. In case for another day, I guess. First of all, we have to figure out what kind of paperwork covers this mess. 
Okay, I'm liking this. Yeah, I am as well. <laughs> uh, and it seems short. I'm pretty short, yeah. If all of these, I, I very much doubt that all of these cases are going to be this short. Uh, but yeah, I'm. Ex we could do this as a side quest stream. Let's see. Yeah, Tome it alone. fits the bill. Dooley suggested a visit to the library. He must have seen a strange storm gathering over it. We can do a bit into this one. I doubt we'll finish it, though. It's nice music as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, what the... I'm pretty sure everyone would have noticed this thing. <laughs> Okay, what's the case, Dooley? Fill me in. Case? Now oh, I've got some overdue books to drop back. So that purple swirling vortex thing above the building has nothing to do with why we're here? Now, oh, come on now, detective. You're hardly gonna... <laughs> you're hardly gonna arrest the weather. The things you'll try to do to justify this department. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Oh, These things just make me uncomfortable. They're not very welcoming. They should at least be reading a book or wearing glasses or something. Before this was the library, this is where the mayor kept her line collects. What? Alright, that clears that up. So... Plaque? This is a library. What a helpful plaque. What have we done in this Jiffy Detective? How many cases do we need to solve, do you think, to get a car that doesn't leak in the rain? Keeps us fresh, sharp even. And soaked. Fines for being late. How are books late? It's not like they have places to be. Well, they technically do. They have to be at the library. We're not charming your way out of this, Patrick. Rules are rules. Can we come to some kind of arrangement? Do you have any parking tickets you want to see go bye-bye, duly? Are you trying to bribe your way out of a fine? Okay, your name is Doris. Here's an arrangement for you. I'll drop your fines if you arrest that troublesome kid. Kid? The one who's responsible for the storm. And, you know, the ghosts. Ghosts? What? <laughs> Did you call the busters already or not? <laughs> Are we the ghost busters here? I thought you found owning books suspicious. It is. What kind of secret stuff are you reading that you can't get, uh, that you can't get it from your local library? That's a decent point. Maybe people just like having their own books. Maybe it's a germ issue. Germ? You really will believe in anything Hollywood tells you. Oh dear. I'm guessing Dooley is about as intelligent as there are names in his letter. Names, names in his le letters in his name. But sure, need to be some uh, have some good IQ to be able to be recruited into the police. Tick, 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 leaving that one lying. What were you saying about ghosts? The place is haunted. You know, the usual stuff. It, usual stuff. Flickering lights, floating books, strange noises, eerie purple storms. It's chasing off the readers. And you say a kid is to blame? He's the only one here often enough. Suspiciously often, if you ask me. I'll look into it. Do, or else I call a pair of oddball priests and or a questionable ghost-busting startup to fix this. <laughs> <laughs> what books did Dooley borrow? He has uh, rules to rave to. He had rules to rave to. Rosewell, New Mexico, where the aliens really experiment on us. And the law. What is it and do we really need it? Hey, what happened to librarian reader privilege? Not a real thing, buddy. I take it you gave up on the law book. Not enough pictures. <laughs> this guy is our gumshoe. From a... <laughs> uh, Ace Attorney. What's that you're reading? Guidelines. The heartbreaking tale of a girl who falls in love with a reverse vampire. Okay, what now? A reverse vampire. He can't come out during the day. He, uh, he can only come out during the day. I'm at the part where it's her prom night, and she promised to take her, but the clocks went forward, and now it's on, the on at night. What happens if he goes out at night? He gets really sleepy. Sounds 
interesting. Well, it sounds awful, detective. <laughs> well, I do have to agree with Dooley here. <laughs> yeah, sounds like a human. Yeah. Flickering yeah, like lights. Like, also, something like it could be just a weird way to, to describe a half vampire. A, a vampire? Yeah. Okay. These brownouts seem like they make for frustrating reading conditions. I was half expecting her to pipe up. Yes, they do. A silent sign. <laughs> of course. Is this your to read pile? I've read all those. The desk is missing a leg, so I'm using them to balance out the computer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Actually, smart pulling them on the upside instead of underneath the leg, which would damage them. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Look at the desk. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't have any legs. <laughs> yeah, and also, it's it's clear one of those that goes a bit around. Like an arc. So it shouldn't need legs. Okay, that was this timer. So let's take a quick little look around for anything more. Uh, an old elevator? Where's the staircase? We have none. There was a fire, and ironically, the fire escape was the only thing that was destroyed. A horror, really, and it's missing the button. Uh, sci fi fantasy. If that thing comes to life, I'm running. Uh, Sci-fi fantasy. Uh, oh dear. Nope. What a great game, huh? Yeah, funny looking droughts pieces, though. What the heck is droughts? And yeah, the pieces are moving on their own. Children's section. Nope. Oh. What about this one? The words are short, and I think I can read the whole book from one cover to the other uh, cover. Oh, is that suitable for my age range? I read, uh, I read a book about books for my age range, and they're all uh, books about boys and wizards and talking dogs. <laughs> okay, I'll try it. I hope I like it because I've read all the books about boys and wizards and talking dogs in here. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we oh, are definitely no. we are definitely picking up this game. Yeah, I just spotted Barney on a bookshelf. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I'll move this aside. Hello, and... Rom. Yep. Hello. Hey, Rom. You doing well? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Today's my uncle's birthday, but my mom got ill over the weekend, so. Ah. Uh. Just oh. some money, and so he can buy himself something and buy some, buy like a a meal or something for him and. You know, the others, they're going over to uh, my aunt's place. Okay, sad to hear that. I hope she'll be well soon enough. Uh, my mom, uh, she's feeling better today, but, you know, we canceled the whole thing yesterday since, uh, you know, she was ill and didn't want to pass it on to others. Okay. Yeah, better safe than sorry. Yeah. I own, I own that game. <laughs> Okay, moving on to our second game, because uh, <coughs> we're doing a Showcase Sunday stream, and we are moving on to the second game, and hello, many languages. Okay, th this game was free on GOG a bit back. They do that every now and then, just give out a, a free game. I don't know if they're much good most of the time, but we'll see about this one, which is Daymare 1989. 1998. 1998. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay. also, the, also, that's how I got the game too. I have this game because it's uh, a Resident Evil like. Yeah. <laughs> oh right. Uh, here's a random but fun fact. Uh, this game actually started out as a fan-made remake of Resident Evil 2. And then Capcom basically revealed, oh, we're actually making our own remake of Resident Evil 2, so if you can just not make your own remake. You can make your own game if you want to, just don't remake Resident Evil 2. Okay. That that could Wait. make things interesting. And there is something in the... Oh, that's a bird. I thought it was a 
a zombie or something. Hold on. I'm confused. Didn't they hire them as well? Okay, classic 90. I don't remember which. Uh, fuck. I know one of these has every bit of ammo you pick up acts as a magazine, and you have in between magazine and ammo pickups, and you have to f fiddle around with your inventory to fill up magazines with ammo. Okay, I've never played any of the original Resident Evils. The first one I ever touched, and I think pretty much the only one was Resident Evil 4. So let's go with the modern take. And let's see. There's a lot of small text down there, which I'm not going to be able to read. So let's see. Uh, Wait, let me... Could you rewind for a second? Uh, back. Hmm? I want to read the... Uh... God damn it. You are more confident with your generation. Mm -hmm. yeah, more no switch shooters. At okay, least this is modern. T okay, this is the one where basically every bit of ammo just acts as a spare magazine. Okay. Yeah. So okay. Like the old Resident Evil, and the new Resident Let's Evil. See. Actually, just Resident Evil in general. And yeah. Survival horror in general, since you pick up like boxes of ammo, and that just translates to a spare magazine. Yeah. Let's see. A hardcore mode that will t make you hate the developers or Daymare 1998. Uh, if limited ammo and hard to kill enemies are your daily bread, welcome aboard. <laughs> okay, I like that these guys poke fun at themselves. That's always a good sign with developers. Let's see. Are you up for a challenge but still value life? Then this is the difficulty for you. Enemies in animation won't fail to satisfy your bloodthirstiness, but you should always watch out for the dark lady. Okay. And we can even choose between A modes. And then we have Easy. You want to enjoy the story of Daymare 1998 without too many headaches. In this mode, surviving on the streets of Keensight will be a cakewalk. So let up your gun and uh, suck on that pacifier, rookie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is one of those. Uh, yeah, there's, it's always funny when the development team just decides to just... So you're gonna play it on easy or on normal? Yeah, just easy. We're, we're just showcasing it. So we want case, to see as much it. as we can. Actually, you might want to go back and just set it on normal. No auto aim. Because auto aim can be a bit annoying. So manual, really. Okay. Uh, there. Okay. And let's see. Brightness. It's completely hidden there. I can just about barely see it there, but let's for the sake, certainly sake, put it on this. Always nice to have stuff like this. Uh, subtitles, yes, and hot ammo, yes. I guess I'm, I am an other noob at this kind of game. Let's see, evaluation re recap, request for official military personnel, uh, file microfiche or paper documents. Those mi microfiches are those old tiny ass disks that they used to have. Uh, ta -ta -ta. 1998, date recorded, custodian, G. Minerva, address, something something French sounding. Okay. All the following is presented as personal opinion and does not mean, you know, doesn't mean to be a medical advice nor in any to be an endorsement of any of the treatments or items listed herein. Always consult a physician for all medical advice. This document contains errors or omissions. It should not take the place of licensed uh, medical care. Uh, okay. I think you picked something. Let's see. Several hours have gone by since communication with Aegis Laboratory has been cut off. Now two teams of highly trained Hades, Hexacore Advanced Division for Extraction and Search, operatives are called out to investigate. Their mission, find the missing researchers who seemingly vanished without a trace and retrieve sensitive, highly classified materials for a clandestine branch of the US, U.S. government. Tasked with gaining access to the lower levels of the lab, Special Agent Leave uh, barges into the second service entrance and it is there that he discovers the security system has initiated a facility-wide quarantine, automatically shutting everyone in and serving as a warning to would-be invaders that some kind of experiment has gone horribly, horribly wrong. Okay, and with that, so, we start the timer and continue. So the usual thing that, that, that happens in survival horror games with a sci-fi is good moves and the actions you take to achieve this some result. Genius. What I do is bide in the shadows. 
where I can strategically exploit the most vulnerable pawns. But this time had to be different. This time, I had to involve my hand directly. But let's get things in the right order. So I began the first phase of my plan. Requesting the evacuation of all remaining personnel. Code Blue, repeat, this is a Code Blue emergency. Please respond, anyone, please. My name is Rebecca Jordan. I'm a doctor at the Aegis Medical Facility on the North Pole Islands. We have a problem of some magnitude here. There's a situation in the building that requires... There's been a terrible mishap. I, I think we need to some kind of I don't think terrible mishap... I think terrible mishap is a bit of an understatement. Yeah. Okay, so we're gas instead of a virus. No, it's a virus. It's just a gas form. That anyone with a bigger stick. Which is here's pretty another. Much so here's a random ass fun fact. His ass out that that also relates back, back to Resident Evil. Thanks, Hayden. Uh, Sandman, or, that that guy that just spoke Major. Sandman. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, He's voiced by the first person to actually ever voice Leon in Resident Evil in the original Resident Evil. <laughs> okay. HQ, this is Sandman Actual. In the set for November Foxtrot India. Standing by for a mission go. Sandman Actual, this is HQ. You are mission go. Authentication Echo Golf 394 at time 02270. Out. We are mission go. This is the second flash one. And the end of the line for you, lead. Green will infiltrate the laboratory via the third flash one. After that, Raven and I will hold position at the external loading bay. Roger that. Comms clear. En route to primary objective. Over and out. I, I thought we were the other guy. Okay. <laughs> really? I, I, I was guessing we might be in the one with the mask, actually. No, we put the mask. We're, we're just the other guy that leave the asshole one. Uh, let's see. Tatum, uh, have you played Deliver Us the Moon? I know that you streamed that a long while ago. I didn't get to fully see that. 
Um, I don't know if I have it. Probably not, but I can look it up. Okay. HQ here. Unlock code hey, yeah. received. We are remotely overriding the service access to Aegis Station. As explained during the brief, the data interchange device is still being tested for field use. Nevertheless, it will become your most important resource, allowing you to... Uh, status, map, documents. Okay. Manage weapons, consumables, consult maps, health state, and above all, allow you to interact with any type of electronic device. Over. Okay. I feel like putting your character's handheld device on their right arm when they're right handed on a third person computer is yeah. probably not a good idea. It would probably make more sense to put it on the left hand, like it's a like a watch. At the same time, I kind of get what they're trying to go through, like so that there's probably an easier transition from camera to like inventory management and stuff. But I don't know. I feel like it would make more sense to put the video we pull from surveillance. It appears that several tanks labeled CSR three have already been attached to the main hoisting unit. I'll say I'll stand by at the main doors to the freight elevator. Over. Liev here. Copy that. Objective confirmed. Looks like the contagion leaked out from a couple tanks crammed into the area. There are also sure signs of a firefight and explosive residue. Proceeding with the mission. Over. Caster gas. Okay. Uh, yeah. I I agree. It would make it would have made more sense to be on the left side, but. I mean, for gameplay purposes, it kind of makes sense since it swaps camera. Since it, you know, makes the camera movement easier, but yeah, it would logically make more sense for it to be on the left arm if you're like right-handed, like pretty much every third-person protagonist is. True. Also, which of these is going to get up first? Oh, just <laughs> okay. Um. Someone well, at least uh, had the some munchies. Of it is because this fucker is literally melted to the bone. Melted or. or... Yeah. And it wasn't me. Oh, well, at least we're sure that they're not getting the fuck up. Oh, hello. It's you might. It's about time you guys got here. Help. I will really response, right? I heart That's reference. Right. Agent Liev. How's the leg? Oh, it hurts like hell. But I'll be all right. Can't move very far, though. That's unfortunate. Listen, I need to search this place for survivors. I'll come back for you as soon as survivors? I can. Survivors? Yeah, well, good luck with that. Anyway, nonchalant for a guy who's I'll be waiting here. Been shoot on. <laughs> I just need to rest my eyes a little. Okay, he's unlikely to wake up. We terminate. Okay, yeah, <laughs> definitely not playing the good guys here. Also, ammo, so have ammo with E. Yeah. Uh, we don't have oh, any I... special ammo at the moment, though. It's... Hmm. I would not be surprised if that was optional to shoot him or not. Then it's literally your tutorial on point and shoot. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that, that reminds me of something. <laughs> Uh, you don't know him, Ram, but uh, another friend of ours, or at least of mine, uh, Beanie Undead, uh, he had a bit... Of, he, uh, he's not an amazing game or anything, he's a teacher, so that takes up most of his time. Uh, but he was playing Outer the Outer Worlds a while back, the uh, Fallout Space XP. And during the <laughs> during the tutorial bit where you... Leave to Mission Control, Sandman. I made contact with an Aegis worker. I followed the protocol. I'm now heading to the control room to begin loading procedures. Over. Copy that. Mm -hmm. This all brings back memories from 94. Especially that day when you opened fire on all those poor, innocent people. Or what was left of them. Don't you remember? Orders are orders, Major. And those innocent people weren't exactly civilians. When you finally get your ass out of that chopper and onto the battlefield, we'll talk about it. 
Proceeding to objective. Over. Did this happen before? Uh, but yeah, he, he got to the tutorial where he got handed a gun by someone. Uh, but apparently there was some issue with the key binding or something, so he had to look away to try and to try the buttons and such. But as he was doing that, he was accidentally nudging the mouse until he was aiming for the guy's head and then accidentally fired and killed him in one shot. And he, yeah, he had a bit of a reaction to that. I, I, sh I should go look up the clip. Uh, I, I want to see that clip. <laughs> Oh, oh, good God. Uh, Someone must have had a lot of fun down here. Let's see. Translated from Japanese. August 8th, 1945. Oop, that's a while back. Honor. A world the Allied forces will never understand. Thousands of innocent souls in seconds destroyed by U.S. atomic bomb. Not those of soldiers, not those of men who made a choice to fight and sacrifice themselves in service of a great nation, but those of Pacific, uh, of Pacific civilians uh, who lived in those cities now totally cancelled. Women and children. Our families are gone, obliterated by the desire for dominance, by the desire to show the world the strength of their science, the atomic bomb. But now the time has come to show them the strength of our science. It took years of hardship to develop terrible weapons, but... The worst we could imagine arrived simply by chance. We had chosen to keep the scourge, our worst discovery, a secret because it was too inhuman even for Unit 74, where men were granted the luxury of releasing the darkness of their spirits. A weapon too in inhuman even for war, but not too inhuman for those Western people who lost all trace of honor with the push of a button. The men of this crew, the fathers and sons now deprived of their loved ones, have renamed it Shujin, the Condemnation. The world literally works. Uh, the world literally works, and histories will remember the people behind the atomic bomb as villainous and blatant, a mass genocide that will tarnish their conscience forever. But this is not enough. Not for us. Not for the families they cancelled in one second. Perseverance is better than defeat. The new emperor ordered that Shujin be spread over the enemy, a divine, noiseless wind, but extremely lethal. Our condemnation will tear their hearts out and spread them on a path to the same suffering we are experiencing. We departed from Tokyo a few hours ago and expect a long journey to the eastern coast where the plague will be unleashed and a story out of uh, their science fiction novels will run its course. At this very moment, a second uh, Y-400 of the glorious Japanese Imperial Navy should be leaving Osaka, ready to deliver the second and last reserve of the plague to a top-secret location in Germany. Unit 74 no longer exists, swept away by a 20 kiloton bomb uh, blast. God's creation is more alive than ever, and it uh, could still shift the balance of power in the world in our favor. We must do everything we can and leave the rest of fate. Admiral Shinji M, the rest is illegible. Get in the subs, Shinji. Oh, dear. Shinji M. <laughs> Shinji M. Uh, also, uh, I have to say, so you, you did a misread again, by the way, Helian. No. Oh? You said East Coast. Yeah, really. It's when you yeah. said American Coast. So I guess it, it would be... No, that, no, that would be the West Coast. Oh. Yeah, the, yeah, that's in the Pacific, so it'd be the West Coast. Yeah, the, 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 all right, then you double failed it. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the wording was a bit weird here and there, but that could be part of the translation since it was made you know, from Japanese first. And what is that? An energy bar. Okay, a bit of healing. Okay, sprint bar. So far, this game is looking pretty decent. Like, the lip syncing uh, is off completely, but. If this did start out as a fan game, it is expectable that things are not 100% up to AAA status. But those yeah. are things that can be easily overlooked somewhat, as long as the rest of the game is fine. The graphics yeah. are pretty good. Oh yeah, and I guess also that, why they put the main character in a mosque? Since, well, then you don't need word about lip syncing. One million to Jay Phelps. Okay. That's a lot. Give it. 
So I knew we shouldn't have fired you from BNY from the LAPD. Wait, no, that's Cole Phelps. <laughs> Wait, what? LA Noir. Uh, yeah. Oh. Let's see. Note to trainee. I read your file, Kevin, and your resume is quite impressive. Despite your age, it seems you've already installed and maintained your share of sophisticated equipment that most techs here don't even know exist. Now, I'm not trying to scare you, but I want you to know exactly what you're getting into. I heard you ask the co-worker what kind of research is being conducted here. If I had to hazard a guess, it must involve the UFO they found off the coast of this island. These scientists are clearly seeking ways to permanently alter the human genome to create super-human-alien <laughs> hybrids. Joking, obviously, but this is a top-secret governance facility, and the suits here won't hesitate to lock you up and throw away the key if you give them a reason to. Places like this naturally employ state-of-the-art computer systems and machinery that go well beyond the scope of most technicians. Luckily, you know, lucky for you, the thermoelectric generators, although extremely powerful, are very simple to use via an interface. The only real hurdle you will come across is the odd time when a power outage occurs. In this situation, all you need to do is find a PC to check which area is sorted out, as indicated by the flashing red dot. Unfortunately, the repair process isn't automatic, so you'll have to restore power manually using the control panel to bypass the areas marked in red, which will turn green if you are successful. Just follow the instructions on screen, and I'm sure there won't be any problems, but if you run into something serious, give me a call and I'll send someone down to help you. Don't forget that loose lips sink ships. Welcome aboard and good luck. Mick O'Hagan, Chief Maintenance Officer. Okay, it, it sounds like with that ship, uh, uh, they tried to basically terror bomb America, but I'm guessing their submarine sank somewhere along the way, and these guys probably found it. Let's see, we have two, four places now that are marked in red. No real sign of where we are. Actually, that, uh, judging by it, if the lower part is the landing bay, then we are somewhere in the middle or something hmm in one of the red areas okay if i if i remember vaguely correctly we landed on the top they then dropped off the other guy at the bottom so we're probably either on what would be floor i don't know floor three okay i know we have helipad access so let's go with uh Oh, hey, you can skip puzzles. Oh, come uh, on! This is a Rusty Polk reference! This is not the, the raptor scene in the first movie! Give the island looks like Easter Nublar! <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, let's Control see. Control room. H R S R S R S S. Uh, wait, wait did you say Easter Nublar in the corner there? Please tell me I read that wrong. Odyssey, uh, Odyssey OS. Uh, North Blue 2 Isle okay. North Fall Islands. Okay. Uh, okay. I misread it then, but still, it looks like Isla Nublar. Oh, okay, yes, so they probably used an island on Google Maps. Anyways, try control room and secure your room, I guess. Uh. Oh, there's only a limited amount of power, it seems. Okay. Um, let's see. S R S R C R control room C A. Okay. Uh, what the hell is CO command? What the hell is Oh, cargo bay. We should probably also activate that. Uh, okay, that didn't oh, I get work. the puzzle. You have to. Okay, you have to select until it... I think the idea is that you select... Up until it all fills up and then... Hit the switch. Nope. Okay, you have to remove one. Okay, helipad access is too much. That is a very powerful one. Decontamination... Nope. Hmm. Okay, what okay, did we... the file say? Uh, 
And see, I, I'm guessing we can only activate the ones that are marked out in green, but it is very small down there. Uh, CR can be done. Then see something else. Uh, canteen and dorms. Um, okay. Let's okay, let's see. Uh, no, not CD. CD. Okay, R office, H canteen, DA, and HA. RH, SR, RH, SR, RH, there. Turn this one off. Uh, LA, another SR, LA. And that's the lab area. Uh, server room. Then S S C R C A S S C R C R C R control room. There's submarine the shafts and the security room. Okay, now try it. No. Nope. Hmm. Okay, let's go from the top. Okay, try the red ones. Try the red ones only. Actually, yeah. Let's CD, OF, so, uh, offices, and canteen and dorm. Reception hall is taped off for some reason. The same as disposal plant. Uh, DA and HA. DA decontamination and helipad access. Still no. Hmm. What is going on? Let's just skip it, so we don't get stuck here. Oh, we. Okay, that is nice. That we are allowed to skip it. Part of the modern. Mo if you stuck to '90s mode, you literally had to just do the whole puzzle. Modern mode just lets you skip it. Oh look, zombie. What the hell are these things? Okay, so this didn't happen before. And Listen, one shot was well, enough. It, it, you did put it on easy. True. I really feel like you could balance out your enemies cannot take a whole lot of damage with your ammo is also limited. Like, you know, a zombie just goes down with one shot to the head. But you also can't find a whole lot of ammo. Yeah, I like the first games where you kind of needed to be careful how you spend your ammo. A lot of it, a lot of the original games was also just dodging. Can we close that? You can. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, it's a very, it's a bit specific where, where I need to stand. But can I actually? Never mind. Okay, that was new. She didn't try to bite you. She tried to. Well, she really was throwing up on over. you. Yeah. And I've seen zombie movies where that's done as well, or zombie games, at least. Yeah, dude, that's usually a, as far as I know, a long-range attack. Usually, that's how it works, but... Try pressing 2, I have no idea, but you might be able to swap to the MP5. Yeah. But you also have no ammo for the MP5. Who sends their operative onto a mission with literally no ammo? Someone um, expecting you to fail? Okay, that is true. You open the roof first again. Which I'm presuming is around here. Now, who of you is going to get up? Or is it going to be Karma and it's this guy? Oop. That's the stream timer. Or the, the oh. half hour-ish timer. Uh, is there any 
Where else are the controls here with which we could open that up? Because I get the feeling something's going to happen the moment we uh, try to get this stuff out. Uh, let's... Hmm. What's over this way? There's a container with stuff. There's the container with an unlucky bastard. You're just hmm. doing your job and then all of a sudden something crashes on top of you. Okay, how do uh, we open that? I'm not seeing any other controls uh, in the area. Actually, look to the left. No, left. Right, I mean right. <laughs> Which right? The player's right. Yeah, but we already were on the right over there. I'm not seeing anything on I this mean, side. I mean, on the corner spot. of the left. And we already had the ones over there is far from bringing the platform up, not for opening it. I, I used to realize something to easy till uh, Hillian left or right. We used to use uh, the ladders on his back, turn towards S, turn towards H. <laughs> that could work. For now, let me just look in here again. If we don't find the controls, we're going to move on to the next game. And so far, I'd say this one looks decent. And not going to hold high expectations. Uh, okay, work schedule or something. Hmm. 1998. And I'm... Okay, where, are where are these controls? Or are they back in the middle area or something? Oh, well. Okay, that's the second game done. A bit 50-50, we could give it a shot. And yeah, I, I am curious of it. Yeah. Okay, moving on to the third game. To s now let's see if this one will work. Uh, okay, it's refusing to work as it's, I had plans to. Uh, or Actually, I know how to get around that somewhat. Let's see, DX window. Start that up. And, oh, I thought I had, hmm. Okay, well, I'll have to put away the chat and task manager for a moment then as we start up this game. Uh, yeah, for some reason, this game is a bit iffy with windowed mode, as in it has none of its own. And trying to get it to work through uh, <clears throat> the X window was a bit annoying. bit lengthy. What the heck is this game? Testing you use color. <laughs> this is the blob two, or the blob two. Uh yeah. Uh, to explain a bit of the chunky deep uh, graphics that it was showing there when it wasn't pre-rendered, I'm pretty sure this game was originally a Wii game. And yeah, it's a platformer, so... Well, 
that's for certain. Let's get started. Let's see. Paradise Islands, the perfect vacation spot, famed for its natural color falls. Okay, and timer go. I think that's a re yeah, that, I think this is recapping from the first game. They <laughs> just fat. Okay, the robot ability has a fax machine. Okay, so we're tracking down the villain of the first game. Also, I'm, the reason I'm guessing they went with D Blob is for one, I'm pretty sure this game was made by a Dutch company. And also, well, D Blob, I'm pretty sure, is copyrighted to a certain horror movie. Yeah. When you told me about this list, you actually wrote D Blob. Not with the E, but D H E. Yeah. So I thought you meant the game of the movie. <laughs> okay. Yep. Straightforward pink name. Player two can join in as Pinky. She can shoot things and help now uh, help Blob. Okay. Wait, so his name is. I thought she kept saying Rob. Yep. <laughs> Crash landing. And here we have Blob. Your hero, clouded in mystery, colorful with an indefinable and rebellious attitude. All right, let's have a look at the controls. Yep. Okay, camera controls to get the best view possible. Yep. Okay, Z, Q. Okay, there's surround. Okay, there's, he is surrounding Z in you know, WASD. Or to get behind. Okay. Okay, there it is gibberish with some recognizable words in there. This place is famous for its natural color springs, but something's wrong. The, that color stream is dry. I'll collect these shining color atoms and I'll fire up a transformer engine sword. Okay. Hmm. okay. So, typical collectathon stuff. Grab these things. We can get pointed towards them. Big one? Or is this that engine thing? Okay. Just transform. Okay. Control to target. And, oh, and slam. Okay. <laughs> Just tip over and ground pound that thing into the dust. Okay, I see. Well done, Bob. You've returned color to the pool. So we need to find enough of those particles, then we can get... Oh. Okay, someone has an ego. <laughs> then we get one of those transform engines made, and we go slam that to clear the area out. A bit like a more colorful version of uh, the Saboteur. Also with less Nazis. But... 
That's why the stream was blocked. Cromwell Black has been here. He must have messed things up. Let's track down the escape prison. Let's track down that escape criminal and color him once and for all. So we're, we're dealing with color Nazis. I wasn't sure how to feel about this game. <laughs> Dude. I've never played this one or the original before. Oh, hello, what's this? One of 100. So yeah, the, the graphics are a little bit chunky since this was uh, a Wii game. Why is... Why? Yeah, he's just floating. <laughs> okay. Let's still give it its time. We'll have to cross here to get uh, to the next island. Water washes you clear. Don't worry, I think you can see some color over there. Okay, so we lose our color with water, so we can't actually paint things. These huts have been bleached. And that's ink. Don't swim in there, you'll be poisoned. Everything you paint will cost you paint points. Let's get some. Roll into that color pool and paint those pur huts purple. Painting raises the color energy and we can set up another transformation. Okay, so collect bits, color things. Okay, you can hold 100 paint points. Okay. Oh, right control, not... I was pressing left. Okay. We just have to poke it. It gets <laughs> colored completely. Okay. We just put down our own thing, okay. It's, so we have two methods of getting those points, and we need to get enough of those to well, clear out an area. Now, what is this? Sounds a lot more angry than the text is suggesting. Okay, original colors in red. Okay, so specific colors for specific buildings. I would say she sounds angry, more mischievous, like she plots to prank someone. <laughs> Could be the case. Let's see, this one isn't flashing, so I'm guessing we can color these whatever we want. Those are flashing, so we should get some red. Okay. A nice little simple platformer. Oh. On a roll. Yep, a paint roll. Use your compass to find more challenges. Tap to display. Okay. There's purple something that way. Or, oh, it's, it's pointing towards the paint, I'm guessing. There is something... This way? Up here, okay. Okay. Stall pickups. Mm. Oh, that, that one, okay. Styles. Each style plays a cool pattern upon each building you play. Yeah, you yeah, paint. Not the place. Collect all stars to improve your final score. Okay. Uh, one red, the other blue, and of course they're the exact opposite. Okay. Fill up on that. And there. And then we get another engine. It, uh, it looks like a nice little game, but nothing too uh, 
Uh, nothing too bad, nothing too great either. Yeah. Probably being more a kid's game. Yeah, or... I think that's what I'm more aiming for, for. I don't see us streaming this. Let's see, Comet Black must be over there somewhere. It looks very gray and unhappy. We need to find him before time runs out. Let's go. Oh, we are actually on a timer now. He's gradients. He's gradient. <laughs> okay, let's just commit assault with paint. Let's paint gradients to rescue them and earn your liberation awards. Okay. Yep. <laughs> you can't even get up. Yep. Yeah, I can guess how the first one fell over. And the third one. Okay, we can just run into them. Okay. Uh, let's. How long do we have on the timer? Uh, to get some... Yeah. Okay. I, I, uh, call it here. Yeah, I call it here. I, I'm not feeling this game. Yeah, it could be a little re fun, relaxed game to play on your own. Uh, but I'm, I'm guessing we can guess what the story is. It's not going to be anything special, probably. Okay. <clears throat> and this uh, is why I have extra games prepped. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if we ever do Daymare, uh, I got bored and looked up the answers to the puzzles. <laughs> okay. Uh, we can put that on the maybe list. Uh, yeah. D Daymare has better chance than the blob. <laughs> uh, yeah. And Dark Side Detective is a definite yes. Okay, ended up pretty quick and small here. Let's see if I can fix that. Uh, yeah, th just the size of this should show you how low res of a size this is. But uh, yeah, the next game we have is Dead Cells, which is a game I've heard a hell of a lot of good about. Uh, let's see. I can resize this like this, and it will automatically adjust itself with these black si uh, bars on the sides. So... Uh, let's see. There, there. there we go. Yeah, it looks about right. Uh, yeah, this this game I've heard a hell of a lot of good about. And, well, it has that uh, Return to Castlevania DLC now. So, <laughs> actually, I'm not sure if them teaming up with Konami is a good or bad sign. Because, well, we know what Konami is nowadays. Just, uh, to be fair, they also have, like... Jacket from Hotline Miami as a playable character, so really they're just going with okay, what would be the cool thing to put into this game? So, this is basically becoming the uh, Dead by Daylight of 2D Metroidvanias, you know, roguelike Metroidvanias, you know, except you can actually play it without frust without too much frustration. Okay. Uh, I know a bit or two about this game, like I've had one big spoiler about something, but beyond that I know very little. Let's see, what's new in Dead Cells? Castlevania's unforgiving characters in gothic settings? Uh, uh, some other time. For now, hey, uh, I'm streaming. You guys ever, you guys watch the, um... What the fuck? Uh... Noah Anweiler's reviews, he went by the Spoonie. Yeah, I, I know him. I knew him back in the day as well. Yeah, well, I just remembered that GOG has all of Ultima on, mm. like, for sale, like, all of it. Like, all the games. Okay. All right. Are you suggesting we stream those someday? Because I'm pretty sure I would get absolutely stuck with most of them. Uh, they also have the Elite, the Star Trek Elite Force games. Okay, those are more 
likely our thing. I, I forgot to read what that was. It, hello. Wait, um, and we look like Raziel if our head also... Raziel from uh, Legacy of Cain if our head was also on fire. Yeah, oh, I just looked that up for what I think it was last year they announced that they are gonna make new uh, Legacy of Cain games. Yeah, I think honestly what I want is to be able to buy at least. I got most of the games, but I didn't get Soul Reaver. Looks like, like I had the a first Soul Reaver game because that one wasn't available for reasons I don't understand. Granted, I also want to be able to play the single play the rest of the Unreal games apart from 2004, but uh, I can. Thank you, Epic. Get next. Is he the really headless do. fellow that's been getting around? Me? Yes. Nice. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Yeah. Yes, that's right. No tongue. Anyway, it must be strange to be back from the dead. I mean, surely you must have noticed. You can no longer die. I don't really understand it. But you're not the first to find yourself in this situation, if that's what you want to know. <laughs> what do we even need to get from that? Like, what the... But that's like meant to show what the hell. Let's see. Ammo comes back after enemies are killed. Okay. And the wooden shield exerts 75% damage. I mean, we can swap one of these with that. Okay. Hmm. Uh, let's leave it as is for now. And hello. Uh, okay. Okay. I, I think I've seen a little bit of this game or something similar. But only a little bit. Like one episode, I think. I mean... Sure seems to have changed a lot. Yeah, it's been getting work for a long time. What was that? Ooh, hello. Uh, what is that? Okay, the day with goodies. Is it a roguelite or something? Yeah, it has roguelite enemies at the very least, what I'm aware of. Use throw bombs. Can we slide or something? Can't tell. Wait. There we go. Let's see. We are collecting resources. We have our normal gold. We have silver orbs of a sort. And okay, that's just kills. Knock. Who's there? Uh, what the heck is a wolf trap? Let's see. The Tatar launches two traps that root enemies, increasing damage they take by three. Okay, we that's our trigger, or one of our triggers. We just okay, we just drop that. These are checkpoints. Yeah. <laughs> you have to take damage before they tell you how to dodge. I mean, let's see. Scroll of power. Let's see, 15% damage on brutality objects, and plus health, or plus 15, 70. Uh, oh, it shows you which end time. Okay, they're color coded. Brutality is red, yeah. tactics is purple, and survival is green. It's, they, things can be different things as well. Yeah, and apparently the wolf trap is both, it's both ta tactical and survival. Yeah, and it also gives us the most health. We didn't heal us that much, it seems. Oops. Apparently we can teleport with these. Okay, nice little fast travel system. And this game has a story? Yeah, there are... It has story... It has story, yeah. Some Sort of like Dark Souls, to my uh, knowledge. That, most of it needs to be interpreted or something. And again, my knowledge of this game is very limited, so I might be completely wrong there. Hmm. 
Well, I guess this is another game that's on maybe, at least on TV, done some investigation. Yeah. Uh, let's get out of here. Down here. Or, nope. What is that? Take all. Okay. Why would you just why? Why? Yeah, and we have a timer going on. I know that there are some doors in this game that are rub. Uh, okay, that doesn't seem to do anything. I know there are some doors in this game that are locked or not locked open for a certain amount of time. Though I don't know if the levels are randomized or if they are set. There's a lot of these, so I'm guessing there is a, a level of randomization. Hello. Let's see, Balance Blade 2. It, uh, launches a grenade. Let's what? See. That is almost double DPS, so let's take that. Hmm. Does that leave us without any actual way to go anywhere at the moment? Uh, there's something up there above this one and something below it. Uh, watch out for flies when you have to teleport. Oh! Hmm? It's a moon reference. Pain, turn back. What is this? Infantry grenade. Okay. It doesn't hurt ourselves. Uh, I guess uh, now. Okay, we fall too far, we get stunned, but. Okay, we can also pound. Oh dear. If you were wondering what the reference it was that code is for, uh, the movie The Fly. Okay. Basically, when someone, uh, I forgot the character name is, but uh, he was played by Jeff Goldblum. He tried to work on that teleportation uh, device, and a fly got into the machine with him. Yeah. And, well, what, well, it teleported, but it also out fused them together. Yeah, and he became a fly monster. Secret. Take that. They continued that in another movie and a comics, I think. Hello. Yeah. I think I've seen both. I can't afford any of that. And that guy... Was he armored or was he a... bug? I can't tell. Very... I'm guessing more armored. Let's see another one of these. Yeah, for all of us, I wonder if he did if he did the mistake of teleporting with a bug near him. Yeah, I'm getting more and more the feeling that the the levels are randomized. Let's see. What even is that on the other side? Sinew slicer. Okay. That would have to re Okay, but they have timers. Let's actually swap that for the grenades. And Promenade out of the Condemned. Passage to the promenades. Aren't they cute with their big bags or whatever? Uh, okay, that's locked. That 30 seconds? Okay, or is that yeah, I'm guessing 30 seconds. Hello. Well look who it is. I'm the collector, and I'm about to, I'm about the closest thing you'll find to a decent, uh, to decent company around here. Bring me the cells you gather from the others. In exchange, I'll procure a few useful little items for you. Should you stumble upon a blueprint, bring it to me, and I will introduce you to some more experimental items. Okay. And here come the rogue light elements. We have okay, so those were cells we collected. A permanent health increase? No, permanent health potion that can be used at any time. Our, our Estes flask. And some of these are locked behind other unlocks, like amounts. Okay. Let's pull that up. 
And we have preserve the five minute when you die. Transform objects found in the ground or in chest into gold. Okay, let's do that. And oh yeah, they're going big with these numbers already. Okay, and blood sword. The melee weapon brutality causes bleeding. You can unlock on one you can lock on wanted items out of your item pool with custom mode. Okay, so would that mean we unlock this one? Let's leave it be as is. Um, we can heal. A uh, left button. Okay. Hold it. There we go. Okay. Please do not break that door. Yep. This door will not unlock until you have spent all... Oh, that that is annoying. I'm. The fact that you can't preserve... Actually... We don't need to preserve them. We can invest them towards future... Okay, that is nice. Typically, I do not like it when you have to spend all of your stuff. Like, last showcase, we had a Crypt as a Necro Dancer where you couldn't preserve your diamonds. Or at least I don't know of a way to preserve them. Maybe there is a bank they added in or something. Yeah, or where you could invest in them like this here. Let's see. One mutation available. Talk to the villain. Re villain. Willen. I'm really happy I found this great stinking pile of corpses that look a lot like us. Let's see. Yes, take damage for 8 seconds after killing. This defend. Okay. It is, hmm, saves you one time if you die premature early while not cursed. Cannot be picked up after first mutation selection. Cannot be dropped once picked up even if used. Okay, uh, let's just go with that. And that is an... Okay, so those are perks. And we have this here. Okay, to fill up our flask. And let's leave then. Okay. I mean, okay. impressive so far. Yeah. I still let me say this is a maybe. And maybe on side play. streams like uh, Valheim or Minecraft. Yeah, but also again, some investigation will probably need to be done. Okay, that one was protect the shooting the others. Oh, is that the little turret we put down, or is that something else? Okay, that's what the turret you did. I was kind of randomly pressing the triggers to try and get something to happen. Okay. Oh yeah, it is a turret. Okay. Get through as quickly as possible. Uh, what have we here? Twin daggers, and infantry grenade. Uh, let's see, those do more damage. Okay, it's a choice, one or the other. Okay. Now we get environmental stuff. And there's a, one of those scrolls. Let's go grab that. That we deal with you. Assassin scroll upgrades your brutality or tactics. Okay, let's upgrade that. Okay. Let's deal with that thing. Going to be a bit awkward for the dodge button to be B, I think. Oh, hello. Cash. Elite enemy. Undead archer. Never. And artifacts. Okay, there's just a lot of unknowns going on at the moment. And a lot of info being put. Vine rune. This permanent rune increase causes climbing vines to grow. Okay. 
I'm guessing that's the way we get other permanent progression. Oh, 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 oh that's what those things are. Okay. That's the, how do we get the, the Metroid abilities, sort of. We unlock those, and through those we can get other paths throughout the world. Okay. Okay, we have limited arrows with those. Did I just dodge through a wall? Or is there just no wall here? Okay. Wait, what? I guess, fuck your walls, I'm getting through. Or not all of them. Okay. Yeah, a lot of stuff with the, this sort of game is discovering, uh, yeah, what to do and how things work and all that. It's, what is animal head? Someone's left a cow head here. Whoever it was, he was a bit of an artist. Carefully trace the king's coat of arms on the four animal's forehead. Okay. For the most part, I'm still just confused as to what everything is happening and all. Or whatever happened. Uh, I do know some things about what happened in this world, but... Still questioning of what the hell is with everything here. Statue of the King of the Island. How could he see anything with a helmet on? He's a zombie. He's a zombie. <laughs> Yeah, he's a zombie. Oh, man. Keep going to you. you could always be also blind. Oh, you jumped towards me. Yeah, we we lose health real quick. That thing coming in. Uh, yeah, yeah the difficulty has spiked. The, the tutorial area is past. Okay, we have a speed boost. Okay, yeah, that's great. Okay, choice, free choice with these. Uh, let's see. Let's go with this one since you get the most health. We still can get a lot of health. We just lose it a lot fast as well. And what was that with the door here? Okay, no response. Hmm. And dead end on this point. Okay. Hmm. How are we on time? Not to say that this game is being boring with it. Uh, six minutes. Uh, yeah, I'll, put, I'll put this one on the a maybe, I think. Yeah, again, some investigations will be done. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah most likely a side thing then, at that. I'll, have, I'll play it some more on my own. <clears throat> But for now, let's move on to game number four. And uh, let's see. We st hmm, wait, are we, are we already close to time? I forgot to start the long timer. Yeah, uh, we'll be started at four. And we have 20 minutes left. Okay, then, yeah, game number five, since we went a bit short with the others. And that might already give a bit of a hint. And this will give it away completely.
pretty sure it's not my audio that's fucking up. What happened? No, wait, I thought it was you. <laughs> I was... Oh my god. It's Helians. Dude, your, your audio has gone, has gone sideways. I think he's trying to fix it. Even Potato got scared! Uh, well, it was part of the intro to that island and the Hillian's audio crapped out. Test one, two. Three, four, okay. five. Six, okay. seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. Okay, it works. Uh, I... I... Well, I know what happened there, but I do not know why it happened. It That happens every now and then. For some reason, my computer's Bluetooth just fucks over. And, yeah, it just completely loses connection with all of my stuff. Or at, le at the very least, it loses connection with my headset, which I use to listen to things with this. And I <clears throat> since, well, the normal headset, are, I get uncomfortable with my glasses. Hey, Leo. And... I'm guessing it also fucked with my microphone or something. Yeah, I, I, we have uh, one, maybe once or twice where you got a bit robotic, but this was something new. Okay, what did, what did it sound like and how, how much do I need to edit it to stop ear bleeding? It, it sounded like static completely out of nowhere. No, 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 more of a mix of static compared and like something, as if something was attacking the mic. Okay, yeah, I I don't know what ha what causes that. It might be some issue with the uh, the voice meter program that I use to run everything through and split things around. Uh, anyways, this is Dead Island, the, the definitive edition. Uh, shall we start it up again to get another look at the intro, or just leave it at that? Uh, let's leave it at that. I think you're gonna need to edit that intro anyway. <laughs> So you can, uh, uh, yeah. I think you can re-record the intro and put it over, duct tape it over the other one. <laughs> no, I don't, it's not that necessary. <clears throat> uh, it does show all four playable characters that do pop up in, not well, pop up, you can play in the game. And speaking of, let's start a new one. I did a bit of a test run. So can we restart and watch the whole intro? I just, I kind of want to see it because it's really funny in, in, in... Uh, All right. Okay, <laughs> one yes, one no. I uh, I decide to split. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm okay with it. There we go. Just for some reason, this one doesn't. Uh, when this is in one note mode, and it's not wait. Uh, did it skip it? Or for some reason, the window as is doesn't uh, open. Uh, doesn't move into the center of the sc uh, screen. Maybe Give me you a can test. play it. Okay, let's try to do a new game. I'm. I get this. I think it also starts when you start up a new one. And yeah, these are your four characters. We have Logan, the throwing expert. We have Perna, who is the firearms expert. You will only get firearms later in the game, so a uh, bit of a bad specialty. John, sharp weapons expert. And then we have Sam B. Who it took me the long it took me for fucking ever to get the pun with his name. Sam B. It sounds a bit like zombie, but with an S. Oh. And yeah, they have slightly different uh, stats. Though for some reason Logan is the only one with 80. Uh, the other uh, Perna has 90 stamina. Uh Xion has 90 health instead. And Sam B is balanced out to a full 300 with 110 health and 90 stamina. For, for some reason, Logan is just completely fucked with that. He he's, he just has the lowest stats of them all. But yeah, oh, yeah, let's go is. with Sam. If you select them, I think you get a background check. I think Logan's is that at one point he got drunk, got in a race and I broke his leg. I grew up in Long Hills, Lower Ninth oh. Road. My daddy went to prison when I was two. That's where he died. I can go. Mama didn't ever recover from that. Just drank and did crack. And any random motherfucker who didn't smack her around too bad. My nana the one who raised me. She run the Walsh Interior. We lived in a little shotgun house on Burgundy. From the time I was 10, man, I want to rap. I was into old school freestyle rap. And I'd be kicking ass at them battles, bro. 
Man, just couldn't catch a break. Nothing caught on. So, one Halloween, I come up with, who do you voodoo, bitch? Just as a motherfucking joke, you know? Right to the top of the hip hop charts like a motherfucking rocket. And suddenly, I was famous. Going to the Grammys, hitting the parties. Man, I had bitches up to yin yang. And for the first time in my life, I was making money. Shit. I was spending it as quick as I was getting it. I thought I'd made it, you know what I'm saying? That that grave train wasn't there going in. So I did another song. And another song. And nothing hit. Nothing fucking hit. Song after song. And ain't nobody give a shit. Been 10 years, man. But yeah, I could still get gigs. But all they want me to do is, who do you voodoo, bitch? I used to play the big casinos in Vegas or Atlanta City. Now nah, it's just Reno or Laughlin. Some motherfucking cruise shit. So this gig here might be my last chance. I mean, there's some heavy Hollywood hitters up in there. If I could notice, yeah, I could be right back up on top there. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I, yeah, each of them gives a little speech about what... Oh, are you going to start up again? No, thankfully. Okay, uh, let's not go with the others. Mode. Uh, what is this? That What is that exactly? Let's see. Uh, one Punch Mode is only available in single player. If enabled, you will not gain any progress towards unlocking achievements. Oh, it's basically cheat mode. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, okay. Shall we? Yeah, what the fuck? Why not? I yeah, mean... It's, it's... Uh, let's do the prologue again to showcase. And does it do the preview? Uh, no, it does not. Okay, uh, let's skip through this then quickly. Uh, quit the game and start up again so we can see the intro. And this time I won't move the screen until after it is done. And we're going through a bit of hassle just to get the freaking game intro. <laughs> oh, but dear yeah. gods. Uh, Deep Silver are the same people who made Dying Lights, which is basically, well... Dead Island 1.5, or you could see Dead Island as Dying Light uh, no, point five, oh, 0.5. Oh, yeah, Techland, yeah. And yeah, this is that song he was singing about. Red light, leave him dead, running like a track meet. Scared of nobody, what you know who I am. Give any idea who you're him, I'm talking to. Or maybe you saw me in the play. I played play for the fucking the goddamn of champions. Well, man, cooking meat, cannibal, trying to eat. Uh, I got a zombie on me, and you can't harm me. Hey, yeah, watch it. You boo -doo, bitch. Drink blood like a vampire without warning. Who do you boo -doo, bitch? Stand up. Sam B got the thing that go bump in the night. Whoa. Who do you boo -doo, Hide your kids, grab your wife, better get out of sight. Who do you boo do, bitch? Let's go. Sam be the Papa Shango, I'm bearing some many. Hand full of fingertips, toss them up like confetti. Stay full of corpse bitches, I'm a pimp of the dead. Come fuck with a Another zombie, drunk put a chair stick in your head. Look, you want ghouls like a fucking stupid kid? Maybe everybody dies and see your ass real soon. Crack clothes to the marrow, hot sauce, and they suck it. Now my dude, you ain't nothing to fuck. Sir, looks like you've had enough. What's your room number? I'll make sure you get there safe and sound. Completely out of nowhere, zombie. Excuse me, lady. Are you okay? Uh, can you hear me? What are you doing, sir? This is the woman's restroom. Excuse me, sir. Are you, are you okay? I rip your arms off with my bare hand. Smack your mama. You really don't want to mix. You really don't want to mix strange pills with alcohol. Yeah, or just pills and alcohol in general. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. No. Also, the reason Good. I wanted to like showcase the intro is so that when we begin the game, just let's just start again. 
Uh, yeah, uh, da, 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 play. That, that is a bit of a thing that I do. I just da, 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 <laughs> when I'm just yeah. trying to click. Uh, okay, just quick new game play, and we go with. Uh, oh, hello. Oh yeah, okay, he's, uh, I... he's DLC. Yeah, num <laughs> number five. Okay. I grew up in Norway. Uh, uh, one punch, just for the Daddy shits and the giggles, and we replay the prologue. Also, let me start the timer now. I want to point blueprints. out the incredible bullshit that somehow we get so wasted we have a fist we wind up having a fight with ourselves because we wake up in the exact same room that guy on the intro passed out in yeah <laughs> okay yeah that 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 is kind of weird and anyone who has seen the trailer of this game might recognize this scene because, oh boy, did this game get shit for not okay, being what people expected it to be. To be fair, they showed something that it wasn't... And it's not like Metal Gear, where it's like, it's an actual honest-to-God... Like, a way of changing, of screwing with players' expectations. No, they literally showed one thing, and then completely did an entirely different thing, and nobody knew why they showed the first thing if it wasn't going to be that way. Yeah, people expected it to be a very emotional... Uh, a very emotional-based uh, zombie game, and then, well... We'll see in a bit. Not to say that this game is bad. Like, it, it, it has a sequel finally coming out, like, this freaking year, I believe. Yeah, it just it just took them forever. For it to Wait, what? Out. I, I wonder there were a few sequels. Now, they, now there's an extra bit. Uh, you could call it an expansion pack, almost. Or it is sold as a separate yeah, Rip game. Tide is, Riptide is more of an expansion than anything. Yeah. You know, that, let's be honest. There are so many games with zombies that have the title Dead in it. Yeah. Like, I have, like, four more prepped who are ready for showcasing next time. Yeah, and when you have so many some games, they stop with the word dead. They, this it has become become as such a thing that I feel like it may actually be a a struggle for some games at this point if they, they would go with some more unique names. Yeah, these the the genre is thoroughly uh, saturated. Yeah, and it, well, so, it's made people rather dead to the sensation of them. Yeah. Still, I'd say that the trailer for this game is incredibly well made. There's it's something in here. Perhaps too well made for how the game turned out. And I am curious about Dead Island 2. Uh, because from the original trailer, I haven't seen much beyond that. It seems like they went, oh yeah, we are, we are totally not as serious as people expected us to be. We are just going to have goofy fun like it. Yeah. Uh, so I, I'm uh, at the very least curious. Yeah. I just hope in future they get a bit more creative with the names for again as you said it's so saturated with all almost having the same word in the name that will be bound to do confusion yeah and okay. don't end up. on that we kind of need to, to get in oh This is why I said don't. Okay. 
Lucky. the hatch oh, vanish? Bloody heck, I misheard him. What did you hear? Uh, more of, he said, get the hell out of there, but due to the, him speaking through a microphone, he said Helion. <laughs> oh, we are so getting an emote at one point. We are so getting an emote at one point of just you face palming with the text, uh, I misheard. Yeah, I, I would at least the subtitle maybe notice I misheard it. Okay, let's just continue loot gobbling in. Gobbling, gobbling in. Uh, <laughs> maybe do try to verbalize it, if that even is a word. But yeah, uh, this game was not what people expected of it, but it's. It, it's still pretty good, I'd say. Without this, uh, without this, we wouldn't have had Dying Light, which is a really good game. This is a good thing, and also, is that Beanie? Well, we just got beans across the face. <laughs> Selected for some reason. I'm doing it. No! Didn't oh, I bloody tell you? Now stop! Wait! Hey! Can you hear me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Not your head! Not your bloody head! I ain't asking you again. Oh, thank God. I'm a doctor, not a bloody executioner. Do you know how close we came to bashing your head in? Yeah, the wrong button. Let's see. Those right. things came for us, and Sinemoy went out to kill them alone. SOS. Why won't SOS. anyone help him? You can't just let him die out there. He saved your life. You owe him your life. Anyone hear me? Anyone? Please. Uh, the point with this game is that it tries to be what people expected it to be, but it just doesn't manage to land it. Going out there? Are you nuts? You're not gonna help him. Get the hell out of the way. You at least have a weapon. You need to find a weapon. And uh, yeah, the writing, as you can see, is a bit uh, meh. All right, this is fucking crazy. On three, one, two, fuck it, three. And immediately we got whacked again. Okay, symbols click and swing. The cursor will actually auto aim a bit. Oop. Oh no, you just went over here. He didn't duck. Doc, while you were swinging. Yep, that one got up. Yep, and he got put down in the dirt for the sand. That's the last one. Okay then. Thanks, mates. And yeah, the game presumes you're playing multiplayer from the very start. Are you there? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? We were just attacked. 
Listen, your friend from the hotel's awake. You were right about him being immune to this thing. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have made it. Maybe now we can hold out until help arrives. There is no help. This thing can't be stopped. I saw how it took my wife. You need to get out of there, and I can help you. I can arrange for transportation. By air, by sea. But first, you need to get here. To me. I have many sick and injured here, mate. They're crazy with fear. Tell me where you are. Where are you? You there, mate? Hello? Hello? Oh, God damn it. It doesn't mean that some while. of them don't try. Hell yeah. Just touching go with you for a while. Okay. Let's see, we each have our... Each character has their own skill tree. With Sam B, you have your Fury um, tree, Fury line, combat line, and survival line. Let's see, regenerate 10% of health per minute. Okay, that could be pretty useful. Uh, blunt weapons are now more efficient and effective. Five damage, less stamina cost. Stamina cost is a big thing. And critical hit chance, plus one. Had damage inflicted. Oh, yeah, we are taking this. And let's see, heavy hitter using a blunt. You can trigger a special attack if you press left button when aiming for the enemy's head. Okay, we'll try that out. And yeah, there are a lot of blunt weapons in this game. They actually, I'm pretty sure that most have the blunt weapons have the longest reach as well. Name's John Cinemoy. I'm the head lifeguard here. The voice on the radio told me you were in trouble at the hotel. Said you were resistant to whatever Steve this Bloom. is. Steve Bloom. Hi, Steve Bloom. I didn't believe it. But then I found you and I saw the bite marks. You got no symptoms, but <laughs> those aren't love bites, are they? I don't know who you are or how you know that guy on the radio, but he's our only connection with the outside world. We keep losing the bloody signal. We have a monsoon coming. So here's the thing. We need to move everybody to the main lifeguard station. There's an ambulance there and more equipment and a stronger radio with an antenna. I hate to ask, but we can't do this without you. Will you help me? Let's see. Passport to life. Bring the security keycard to the lifeguard tower from bungalow number 11. Okay, start now. I can do that. Good. First off, we need an access card to get past the security gate. Mine's in my room. With all the commotion, I forgot to take it with. It's in bungalow 11, by the pools. Take a weapon and watch yourself. You may be immune, but that don't mean you can't die. Yeah. Let's see. Impressions so far? I, I am interested to see us stream this. Yeah, we, we could try and do a co-op of this with uh, how many people we can find for it. Uh, should be pretty cheap these days. I already had it. Do you want rum? <laughs> I think yes. he hid himself. I said it was interesting. I said it was cool. Okay, the, your mic just didn't catch it there for a moment. Yeah, yeah and... Uh, what? Uh, energy drinks. The, these are our healing items. The, the, or the ones we can grab everywhere. Uh, oh let's dear. See. Next weapon, let's actually take a look at the stats. Oh, hello, timing. Let's see, we have... Uh, I'm guessing that is damage, for defense, and something else. I... Let's see, can we get an explanation of those? We have a battered broomstick. Okay, DPS, force, and durability. Okay, it, it doesn't list uh, range then. But, yeah, things will... Uh, yeah, of course, with a paddle like this, we have more range than, say, uh, your standard knife. Yeah. Like there's uh, something useful. I suspect that a paddle will be a decent improvised weapon like maybe not the best yeah but he has would... reach and would have quite a blood force let's see can we do that special <sighs> you can see the targeting reticule move around on the enemy a bit uh, and you actually had a pipe wait did you just oh you did break it okay uh, they will eventually break you can see the durability yeah, for... up in upper right 
Ah, oh, okay. I thought just you just accidentally snapped it in half over his head. Yep. And of course, as with any zombie thing, aim for the head. Yeah, like if I were to use the paddle as a weapon, I will tr try to swing from side to side against the heads and less what you're doing now. Okay, the, I think the overheads are the special. And this thing is okay. about broken. Yeah, <laughs> like. <laughs> the after five. <laughs> oh, right. One punch mode. Yeah. <laughs> or in this oh. case, one boots mode. <laughs> Try open your weapon. Let's see if you can punch motherfuckers into, into the next continent. <laughs> oh, that is a clip. Oh, dear. But, yeah, as yeah. I was saying, recently that wouldn't. Try to avoid doing that overswing smash with the oar, since that now what? have a high chance of breaking it if it hits the ground. Mm. Okay, uh, let, let's, <laughs> let's try not to overuse that for the moment. But uh, I. I <laughs> <laughs> Jesus oh Christ. yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely Rom? continuing this save. Rom, was this wow. your right plan all along? Really, I never played this game. I just thought, hey, what punch mode? What, what could it be? And it's, and it just punched the world. It's, you're fucking Saitama now. <laughs> it's Saitama's fucking foot. Wait. I think that might be a reference to the food. That thing got popular around this time when this was released. Yeah, actually, this, I think this game came out in the tent somewhere, and I, I don't know when One Punch Man came out. I so it, it's probably something they added to the definitive edition, since that is more recent, of course. Yeah, the, edition got, the original didn't have it. It uh, came out like in the early 2010s. I don't know, 2010, 2011, something like that. Might be even, yeah, something like that. And then it this I'm pretty sure got added on the definitive edition. Probably, yeah. Well, I I I actually forgotten we did that. <laughs> oh dear! What the fuck! Oh. Oh god! Oh god! A bean. My wife. <laughs> My dad. Oh fuck, my own fucking brother. Jesus Christ. What else could I do? Let him kill me? Why are you looking at me like that? What the fuck do you want from me? I had no choice. Oh, God. Like I said, oh, it does try. Yeah, do it that that one, I think, did hit well. Sort of. <laughs> oh, good gods. That's something I have not seen in decades. That thing on the TV. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Do okay. they still do that? I, I think. Emergencies, they probably put that up. Oh, yeah. Usually, they're not only for emergency. They're like, they could be... Like the, the channel is a uh, channel is not airing at the moment. Hmm. True. Branch, I think. And there's the key card. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a little mini game that pops up when you get grabbed. You need to hit first hit left mouse button and then right mouse button to basically push them off. What's in here? A bikini. Where the hell did you keep ten bucks? <laughs> Let's not ask. Hell. Rom, if you need to ask, that means you're very innocent. Un honestly, it could be that, or... <laughs> or I just want the answer to not be the thing I'm... The thing that it usually is. It, it, it's just inside the top. Ah, oh, thank God. It, it is the thing it usually is. It isn't the thing, it somehow mm. points up. It's to not you. like the, the girl in Metal Gear Solid probably did. Nah, she put it in her cleavage. 
the oh. Victoria's Secret Compartment. I believe that's the name of the trope. Yeah, that's the trope. No, no it's just, uh, I, it's just that this is gonna get a bit, of, I guess, R-rated, but because of what the fuck is wrong with you, now I am well aware that a lot of women seem to think they're, <laughs> their, their uh, vaginas again. can act as either a pocket or a gun holster. Yeah. I, I was I was actually told that's what the girl in Metal Gear Solid did. No, she didn't. Her, she put it in her cleavage. She put the she put the keycard in her cleavage. Yeah, yeah that, that's why I thought first. Then someone else told me no. They put the, it in there. I was wait, wait. Please tell me you're joking. And I really was the clear to wondering. But they, don't tell me they are telling the truth. That that doesn't look a bit too far. Uh. With the uh, with Nash's show, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm honestly surprised someone hasn't tried to shove like a bottle of wine up there to try and steal it because there's been so many fucking stories of people shoving chainsaws or just kilos of beef in their pants to try and smuggle them out that way. Oh good God! Uh, there are a lot of stupid people out there who are way too confident in their capabilities. You did it. All right, uh, thanks to you, we might all just make it. We need a move. Okay, we get a mod as well. Okay. I think you know that voice. Yeah, we it's need Steve to find Blum. I've got station and see if it's safe. Can you do that for me? Or basically every yeah. gravelly voice ever. Oh. Yeah, it's Steve Blum no. doing Take his best. It's the shortest way. New Zealand accent, uh, Australian accent, I don't fucking know, it's somewhere near the New Zealand, Australia area, this place. Yeah, yeah. No, the, the character looks like a, okay, I might be wrong here, I, I will admit, I might be wrong here, that character looks like a potential Maui, if that's the correct term, is it? I'm not sure. I don't know, I, maybe? It's the the tattoo mostly that is hinting towards that. So a big ass hint. Yeah. Ooh, nice houses. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm going to play through this entire game just playing as Duke Nukem's <laughs> inbred, not inbred, illegitimate son. Uh. Turns out Sam B was actually Duke Nukem's kid. He just happen to never go around to, you know, figuring that out. <laughs> um, uh, sir, are you okay? Uh, you look to have a case of the shakes. Um, and uh, limpless. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think we okay. entered uh, into some uh, eldritch horror stuff here. The reality is breaking. Uh, he's partially into the dark side. And the other half is in the flip side. And now it teaches you to kick. Oh. Alright, this case. God, oh, they, they don't collide with each other. <laughs> that, that would have been utterly hilarious if they collide each other. Can we kick the... No. I oh, believe for the best. Oh fuck. fuck! Fuck! Jesus Christ! If you hadn't come along, you, you want to come with me? I'm gathering any supplies I can find at the Water Sports Rental Kiosk. Maybe you'll find something that'll come in handy. <clears throat> yeah, it's just six bucks off of you. Uh, yeah. Sometimes, it, sometimes characters will face through woods. Sometimes you can run into characters uh, and save them to get access to loot and such. You can use to repair your weapons. And yeah. Look, take whatever you want. Yeah, um, there's a workbench yes, nearby. Stick. Use it to modify, repair, and upgrade weapons. Just to showcase, uh, we can repair. We can upgrade over here. It needs to be repaired first. And we can add upgrades to it, which that uh, Dying Light also had. 
And yeah, they just do different things. Let's see. Uh, warning. This is not a cooking recipe. A piece of carcass wired with explosives can save your life. If you're not one of those fanat <laughs> fanatic vegetarians, you can certainly... <clears throat> you can certainly manage it. Remember to fasten the explosive tight to the flesh so that the whole part doesn't fall apart. Uh, the whole thing doesn't fall apart too early. And uh, meat bait. Okay, now I, uh, I know this sounds disgusting, but hear me out. A jar filled with flesh can be used to bait the living dead. Throw it hard, and when it shatters, the undead will gather around it like vultures over a running carcass. And then we have mod blueprints, which we can use to upgrade our weapons. Uh, bluntly shocked mode, or mod. That's the timer. Uh, this is a truly epic version of the Electric Club. It crushes, squashes, wounds, and on top of that causes convulsions. It's a magic, simply a magic club like the ones you see in some fancy wait, 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 movies. Wait, 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 wait. I see something. Base as needed. Heavy Morning Star. <laughs> yeah. Some of these uh, mods are weapon type specific. Like baseball bats. And this can be stuck on basically everything. But we don't have a any of those. Morning star, yes. <laughs> Luke, if you can hear me, did you make it to the bungalow? It's number twenty. Remember, the insulin is in the bathroom, on the shelf. I need it quick, brother. There's another door. But uh, I have you to get some rest. Are you Luke? No, you're Harris. So Luke probably Let's didn't make up. it. But uh, I'll yeah. Rest up and then head out to meet my wife. There, there was a diving knife. I took. I for a moment I thought it was a baseball bat. <clears throat> but uh, yeah. A... I would. You, you just mistook a knife for a baseball bat. Yeah, I, I saw a B or something, or a, a, I think it was a flimsy, uh, yeah, flimsy diving knife. I must have seen the F for a B or something before I grabbed it. Uh, but yeah, thoughts on the game? Yeah. I could see us streaming. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, we won't be doing one punch mode. Uh, I'll see, maybe we can do it after Borderlands sometime. Uh, we still need to plan the next time we can do that. <clears throat> so we gotta uh, get... Yeah, that, that'll take a that'll take a bit though. Still, uh, we'll have to see. When yeah, again, is I'm I'm looking forward to Dead Island 2. I'm hoping it will at least be enjoyable. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I'm a bit 50-50 on this game. It, it, it definitely tries to be what people want it, it to be, but it just doesn't really manage to land it. Uh, it just, well, falls flat, like like a lemonade that's been left out too long. Yeah. Uh, moving over here. Uh, stream deck. There we go. Uh, like... Every time it all takes me to complain to get Stream Deck to work, and apparently I still forgot to change in your new avatar here. Rom, sorry about that. <clears throat> but turn it to a wolf oh. again. <laughs> okay. <Hello. laughs> uh, oh, let's see. dear gods. <laughs> That's the boss name. It's very happy world I heard. Sarcasm. Okay. Let's head on over to Twitch, changing over the screen share from the games to, or from OBS to the browser, so we can, you know, <clears throat> so Drakir and Ram can look along. Uh, what is with my throat at the moment? I think I need a drink. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, from low to high, we have I'm a flanker who is streaming Stellaris. Pika Girl 220 is streaming Last uh, Epoch. Pika Girl is a friend of a friend. Sarah Walrus is streaming Resident Evil 4. Anyone else doing that? Not at the moment. We have I'm Nice, who is streaming Monster Hunter World. Redacted Cat is streaming Fear. Life Crow is playing Against the Storm. Todd Scaly Tail is being a bunch of dwarfs in the, uh, on Hoxies with Deep Rock Galactic. And timing, that's the dinner call. 
Um, WBPL76 is streaming Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Uh, Puffle Cakey is streaming Tekken 7. And Horatius the Dwarf is also on Hoxies with Deep Rock Galactic. That makes sense. Any of these, or should we go give Pika a poke? I guess we could give uh, Pika a poke. And also, I thought someone just showed on your end a heretic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, that'd be a concern with the Inquisition uh, visit Hillian's home. <laughs> okay, I'll have to look back on the recording for where the audio, f well, fucked up. But for now, uh, yeah, paste it in, slash raids. And yeah, before we head off, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you Tatum for <laughs> watching along. I hope you enjoyed the show and I hope I didn't cause permanent hearing damage with whatever happens. Because I didn't get to hear it. And uh, yeah, thank you, Ram and Rakir as well. You're welcome. You're welcome, my friend. And I'll I'll try to have your freaking image here changed out for the current one <laughs> before next time. But uh, uh, I'll I'll have to put up a post-it note or something. I could probably use my door as a post-it board. It's hard to ignore that. <laughs> but yeah, for now, let's start up that raids. And uh, yeah, thank you all again. Tomorrow we can do a stream, I'd say. Uh, we can we this today and last uh, today and yesterday we did it a bit late from the early, from the afternoon time because of early shifts, which are a bit more manageable for streaming. I'm getting called again, uh, but yeah, tomorrow only an evening stream though, uh, and yeah, we'll have to see when we can do stream again after that. But for now, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for zombies. Good luck. Have a good night. And, uh, I don't know. Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> See you all later. <laughs> oh, dear.